Welcome, take a seat and enjoy the part 2 of my top 10 recommendation for romance anime. As the romance genre is popular on both sides of the spectrum, it can be hard to find the right show to start with. If the first 10 were not enough to fill your romance-filled heart, here we come with another 10. I will mix it up a bit, so you will not know which is the best, but hear me folks, all of them are great. In the end, you are your own judge of taste, so let's get right into it. Our number one on the list is Komi-san Can't Communicate, following the gorgeous and graceful beauty Komi Shoko, who remains as an aloof mysterious enigma in the class. People adore and worship her, being the icy beauty in the class, she is one day forced to interact with Tadano through the classroom's blackboard. Tadano being the average guy with the only skill he feels proud of, reading the atmosphere in the room, picks up the chalk and begins to communicate with Shoko through the board. Tadano slowly discovering the mystery of Shoko's icy behavior, being a communication disorder she is suffering from, decides to help Shoko in her quest of making 100 friends starting with himself. Our number two is an ultra-romantic comedy Tonikaku Kawaii, or Tonikawa in short. It is a story about an overachiever, Yuzaki Nasa. Yes, his parents named him Nasa after that Nasa. Because people mocked him for his name, he is determined to leave his mark on history. One evening, on his way home after school, his eyes fell upon a peerless beauty across the street. Bewitched, trying to get across the crosswalk, he gets hit by a truck. But worry not, fellas, he does not get isekai instead, after almost dying, trying to get to her, Yusaki will get a promise to marry the mysterious girl called Tsukasa. Two years after the accident, without a moment's notice, Tsukasa came to fulfill her promise of marrying Yusaki. The third number on the list is the classic Spice and Wolf. Having a reanimation of the old popular series coming out in less than 20 days, you can refresh your memories with the series' older animation. The story following the powerful wolf deity Holo, who is reward for blessing the annual harvest of the small town of Basloe, becomes reduced to a mere folktale after the villagers become more self-sufficient. Kraft Lawrence, a traveling merchant, gets an offer from Holo to become business partners if he takes her to her northern home of Yoitsu. Let us follow the journey which proves with the unexpected. Continuing with the romance holding the fort at the number 4 we have Koikimo. People can fall in love in the most mysterious of ways. This seems especially true when the playboy Ryo Amaksa nearly falls off the stairs at the subway. Ichika, seeing someone in a pinch, saves him with the handle of her umbrella. Ryo, as if by fate, encounters the girl again in the most novel of a place, his home. Ichika Arima, being at her friend's house, did not expect to meet Ryo's sibling Ryo. Trying to thank Ichika for saving his life, he proposes in his own way a reward, like a kiss, maybe something more, by which he unexpectedly gets called out as creepy. It was at this moment he fell in love with Ichika. But beware, there is a 10 year gap in between them, being a fictional story I don't mind. Number 5 holds the fans classic Kaichova Meitsama. Misaki Ayuzawa became the first ever female student council president, which is an extreme achievement within the Seika High School. Because almost all of the high positions are occupied by the boys, working tirelessly to ensure a better school life for all the girls and being strict with the boys, like reprinting the most popular boy in the school, Takumi Usui, after making a random girl cry in the hallway when he rejects said girl's advances. Juggling the school life and part-time jobs cause of her family's poor circumstances, unexpectedly Misaki runs into Usui again in her part-time job. Working in a maid cafe and being embarrassed that someone has found out her secret, Misaki promises herself not to let Usi destroy her reputation. The sixth place holds an office-related Wotakoi, Love is Hard for Otaku. Have you ever tried to talk about your hobbies at work? I did, and most of the time it won't end up well. Our main character, Momose Narumi, tries to hide the fact that she's an otaku in the first day at work, only to find out her old friend from the middle school is working there too. 
Nifujihiro Takakojili asking Momose if she visits the summer comic cat, blowing her plans out of the window. Luckily the other two co-workers who heard the questions are Otaku too. Narumi later that night drinking with Nifuji, complaining about her previous boyfriend breaking up, gets a suggestion to date himself, promising her to farm rare drops in Monster Hunter and always supporting her. She accepts, and so the romance begins. This time the lucky number goes to Clannad. Prepare for an emotional roller coaster ride with the heart rushing tale that explores the power of love, family, and second chances. Follow the journey of Tomoya Ozaki, a disillusioned high school student who finds comfort in his friendship with Nagisa Furukawa. Together they experience a range of feelings from laughter to tears, from heartwarming to unforgettable moments. As Tomoya helps Nagisa pursue her dream of reviving the school's drama club, they form deep bonds with their class mates. Each and every one of them has their own struggles and dreams. Get ready for an unforgettable journey that will tug at your heartstrings and leave you contemplating the true meaning on happiness and forgiveness. So grab your tissues and immerse yourself in the timeless masterpiece that is clannad. At number 8 we have comfortably sitting my senpai is annoying. The story is following Igarashi Futaba, a 23-year-old office girl who gets mistaken for a kid due to her height, and her giant loud senpai who gives her head pets after doing good work, Takeda Harumi, is unintentionally annoying her. Takeda being invited to a drink after helping with a messed up sale, being a little drunk, Futaba getting the chance to ask Takeda if he likes her only for him to say yes. And if he had a wife and a kid, he would love if the kids be like Futaba. So can we say that it starts with a friend zone by Takeda? How will this romance unfold? After watching My Senpai is Annoying, I read the source material, which is not common. So I can only recommend this cute and wholesome working romance. Or number 9 is my love story with Yamada-kun at level 999. Kinoshita Akane being made fun of by her bestie Maeda Maoko for losing her boyfriend to a girl from an online game. Being fed up, she starts up the said game, Forest of Savia. After rage grinding on some mobs, she meets her guildmate Yamada, who in a slow tempo asks what she is doing. Being still pissed off about the breakup, she flips onto him, but Yamada does not care and let her be. After exiting the game, she sees an in real life event about the game going on nearby where she thinks making her ex miss her. Meeting Akito Yamada, her guild mate by chance who is locally famous as a pro gamer, persuading Yamada to be her pretend boyfriend to get onto her ex feelings only for it to backfire. After drinking and dragging Yamada around, she finds herself waking up in his bed. How will the story continue? Tune in! Last but not least, we welcome Toradora. I had to tease you guys. Of course I recommend watching the timeless classic of Aisaka Taiga and Takasu Ryuji. Taiga being the small fiesta Latina always solving problems with a wooden sword and violence and Ryuji being the clean up softy with the outward appearance of a tuck. Meeting at the start of the new school year, Taiga mistakenly putting a love letter for her crush into Ryuji's bag. Fighting Ryuji later at his home, cause lo and behold, they are neighbors leaving two meters away. A romance where they both try to help each other with their respective crushes, namely their best friends. Ryuji starts it all by feeding Taiga and cleaning her home the next morning after getting a wake up call. Will they get the crushes they are gunning for? Prepare for a crazy ride with emotions going up and down in the romantic drama of Toradora. Thank you all for staying till the end, press like and subscribe for more similar anime content, please stay in good health and see you all in the next video. Bye!